thanks so much for stopping by. This is Amy. Uh, I just wanted to uh, get another video out to you all. Haven't done one. I didn't do one last week, so I thought I better better keep moving with my videos. So tonight I'm going to show you how I painted this design or a design similar to this um, on black cardstock, and we will get started. I am going to be using a few different brushes. This is the number 10 Folk Art Enamel, or I'm sorry, Plaid uh, One Stroke Brush. Excuse me on that. It's actually a glass brush, but I'm looking for something that has a nice, tight uh, bristles on it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use my glass. Then I'm going to use a scruffy brush. I'm thinking this is probably a three quarter, um, but you can tell. It's pretty rough, so we'll be using that as well as my larger round brush. Once again, all these are one stroke brushes. Um, it's also very well used. Paint that I'm using tonight is the Folk Garden Enamels Berry Wine, the Thicket, Wicker White, and then my Peridot which is a multi-surface paint. The other three are the gloss paints, but as I've told you before in different videos, I use the Folk Art Enamels for many different surfaces. So anyways, let's get started. I am going to start by painting my blossoms, but before I actually put the stroke work in, I'm going to use my scruffy brush and put down a foundation for them using the berry wine and I'm just tapping it trying to get maybe a circular as circular of a design as possible doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to have three two that are fuller and then more of a bud size And then eventually, if you stay tuned, follow my videos, I will transfer this design, do something similar for glassware, or my painted glass designs. Alright, so this is going to be my little bud over here, hopefully you can see that. I'm just tapping, and I apologize, I am a lefty, so sometimes my hand will cover up what I'm doing. But I'm trying to be aware of that. Alright, I just put white on my brush right now and I'm just going to go ahead and do just kind of like some comma strokes with it and I will rotate and, and put my brush into some of the berry wine. And I will come outside of the shape a little bit that I tapped on here. It's it's not a big deal. Now I'm just randomly putting these strokes on the, the flower. I'm just doing a little tap and pull, or push down and pull, however you want to see it as. It's very simple, really. Anybody could do this. It's not very hard. And you just keep painting over it until you get it to where you like it. Come in like that down here at the bottom of this flower. Just want to make it something easy, easy for people to do. You don't have to be a master painter in order to do these designs. And that's what I'm looking for projects that are easy for people no matter what their skill level is. 
something that's fun to do and and easy to follow. I like to just keep going back over it until I get it to where I like it. Let's see, it's pretty, pretty simple. Doesn't have to be perfect in here because you're going to actually, you know, be adding some petals and you know, leaves and that type of thing, so it'll be all good. Like I said, it's pretty easy. Alright, so then I'm going to move on to the next one. Like I said, it's just little strokes, just kind of randomly placed. Every time you do one, it'll probably look different. If you like my videos, make sure you're subscribing. Hit the bell so you get notifications when I post a new video. Please like and share my videos if you are viewing those. I would appreciate it. I'm trying to build up my channel. as much as I can and I appreciate any help I can get with that. Also if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those below. If you have a favorite flower that you like to paint I'd love to hear what that is. If you have any photos to share of your work, I'd also like to see that. I love to see other people's creations and if you try what I'm doing, I'd love to see that as well. Alright, now we're going to move over to the bud. Because if you can spend a lot of time, you know, working on this, getting it to look the way you want. For the purpose of this video, I'm just showing you some basics and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing it. And honestly, if you get the looser you are with your strokes, it probably creates a nicer looking flower. And I'm just meaning, you know, just like kind of uh, being just like, you know, randomly putting it. And I'll go back over it with some of the darker. Get some of the straight here. And these are using the Folk Art Enamels uh, Berry Wine and Wicker White. Okay. I just want to go back over this a little bit here. I like to have a little bit more contrast. Next I'm going to use my flat brush and then add in the greenery. Now with this I'm using the thicket and then I might add on occasion some of the wicker white to it just to give it a little bit more contrast. And I'm just using the chisel edge right now, putting in the actual, let me go up into there with it, little stems, vines, whatever else I come up with. Now you can make the, this, this part as full or as if you want it to have a lot of greenery, you can do that or just be very minimal. It's really up to you and what your 
what you prefer. I kind of like a lot of leaves and, and foliage, so I might go the opposite direction of what you would choose to do. You know, begin with this type of thing. Feel free to add your own touch, of course. And I definitely like for people to put their own touch to their work. Because not everybody is going to like the same thing. That is for certain. And you can always go back over it. Make it what you want it to be and how you want it to look. And it's fine definitely to do that. You know, yours doesn't have to be like exactly like mine if you're trying my designs. I wouldn't expect them to be, honestly. I would expect them to have your stamp on it because it's your work as opposed to mine. You know, being identical. I guess in some of this I'm adding just a touch of white to my brush. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I think I've got enough of the the brush or the uh, little vines and stuff in here. I'm going to go ahead and start adding my leaves. This is just going to be a basic leaf, not anything too crazy. Basically a touch, touch wiggle and like that. And luckily I can move my paper around because that makes it easier. And then pull it through here. Add some more. Now you can go up into the flower if you wish to do that. And then um, you can do leaves like this too where you're putting the darker color actually on the inside. Sometimes you can do leaves if you're having this, the same color on the outside on both sides of the leaves or you can have it to where you have color it's going the same direction on each side of the of the leaf, if that makes sense. I'm going to do a couple up here. I go with my lighter color on the outside. And this is what I'm meaning to it. I have my brush going the same direction, but I'm actually painting, you know, putting it next to a, to the darker color on the inside. So you're going to have like light on the outside, dark on the in outside, dark on the inside, light on the in inside. And I want to go back over this. So those are a little transparent. Okay, so there's such a variety of leaves that you can do. So I'm going to do this again over here. I just have to remind myself when I'm doing these to keep the color, the brush going the same direction so that I have the colors where I want them to be on the leaves. That for me sometimes can be a little difficult to remember. Alright, and we're going to continue on. I'm going to put some leaves over here. And like I said, it's just really a matter of where you want to position them. You, know, you can stand back, take a look at your work and think, Okay, well, I like this, but maybe I need to add some more. I happen to like a lot of leaves, as I mentioned, so some of my stuff you might think, oh my goodness, there's too many leaves. But I 
think I met somebody else that likes lava leaves too, and I really like their work, so it's like, all right. And you can just do some little easy strokes too if you want. Like this, like a little bit too much paint on my brush. And even though I haven't really put any white, I'm still getting a little touch of white. I'm going to add some more white to my brush. So I basically have three colors on here right now. White's doing that. And I'll just put some little lines right there. It's so much fun to do this. I really, really enjoy it. Now on this one I'm going to do some darker on the outside. And your color combinations as far as like your leaving, your leaves, it's really it's up to you. You know, I started off with everything was with um, the sunflower yellow and the thicket. And then I started doing the, I think it's moss, forest moss, and I really liked it, but then now I'm having a hard time finding it. So I found the Berardeau, and I really like it. So, so right here I'm doing my leaves. Leaves a little bit differently. They don't have to be the same. Gives it more interest as far as the coloring goes. And you, and you can mix, mix and match leaves too. I'm just happening for this to be doing the basic, you know, wiggle and... Now, even though I'm considering this to be more of a, like a bud, I'm not going to do anything up around it. Typically like you might do for a bud. I'm just going to add the leaves around it. Painting on cardstock is a lot different than painting on glass. I'll tell you that for sure. Brush doesn't move as easily. That's one reason I like painting on glass so much. little single ones in here too. Like I said, each one of my designs are different. They're not, not going to be the same. It's a similar design as I've mentioned before. If you're doing uh, painting and you're selling items, that you make sure that if, it's, if you're not actually selling the item in the listing or going to do a custom one, that you let people know no two will be alike. It's very important. And also, too, something to keep in mind is that with a monitor, it, you know, your paint can look so different from one monitor to the next as far as colors go. Even if you look on the site, like the plaid site where you buy the paint, you know, their picture colorings are not, not good a lot of times. Not what the paint really looks like. On this type of leaf, you're just pushing and pulling. Alright, so then I'm going to go back in. And I always like to do or try to do some filler. This is going to be also with my combination of the Peridot and the uh, Thicket. And I'm going to do it in a few different colors. Now you can change your brush around so that it actually gives a different look. Definitely gives it a different look. And then I'm going to add some white to the tip. And 
and this will just give it this will have a little bit more interest to it. I'm trying to go on the actual stem just to cover it up a little bit. Okay to hit hit the other leaves with it. And I'm just going to put this in a few places. Again, it'll be a little bit different than what I was doing on um, what you saw on my other one, but, but similar. I just can't stress that enough because you're not doing a stencil. You're, you're doing something hand-painted. So it's not necessarily going to look the same. But you could look at it and say, oh yeah, that's kind of, that's like, yeah, that's similar. I can see it. And you can lead with either color. It doesn't, you don't have to do like the darker colors first. And again, it's okay to <clears throat> kind of go in there and hit the flowers with it too. Because, again, if you're making a bouquet of flowers for somebody, you're going to know that the flowers are not all separated. And I like to work in odds, so I am going to do, I'm going to turn my paper here, and add a little bit more down the side here. And it really doesn't matter. I think I'll go with this one here. This time I'm leading with the the green itself, the thicket. Then I can turn it with the metallic on the lead. And see so it just gives it a different look. And I basically I'm just pouncing and pulling, just kind of touching and pulling. And I'm gonna add a little white into it so it shows up more. Just sporadically put those in here. And you can do a different style of leaf. I tend to do this a lot. But you can do a different style of leaf if you want. And you can even have them kind of float outside of the, the vine a little bit if you want to. Alright, and I think here we have it. I think I got everything included. Like I said, you can, you know, add some... Uh, Go like this and add some leaving up into the floral part if you wanted to. I've kind of kept it pretty separated, but I'm just going to leave it this way for now. Again, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit the button below. Hit the bell too to make sure you get notifications whenever I'm posting something new. Uh, make sure you share and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Comments down below if you'd like to let me know what, what's your favorite flower to paint. Have any photos to share? I'd love to see those. And until my next video, stay tuned for the design to be put on glass. Have a good evening and thanks again for stopping by.